Hey folks, and welcome to CarStar's 10 Wild Facts About Cray's 68 Barracuda Superstock in the 2004 movie, Highwaymen. Fact number one. There were three different 1968 Plymouth Barracudas used to portray the 68 Barracuda Superstock in the film. One was the Hero Car, a factory Formula S package 68 Barracuda, used as the primary car for most of the close-ups and actor-driven scenes. Another was a base 68 Barracuda, used as the stunt car for the more aggressive driving and damaging scenes. And lastly, there was a gutted out base 68 Barracuda used only for the rollover scene. So, to the great relief of Mopar enthusiasts everywhere, no real Superstock Barracudas were used in this movie. And for those of you unfamiliar with the Superstock version of the Barracuda, we'll get into just why it is a very good thing they didn't use any authentic Superstock models in this film in a bit. Fact number two. The Hero Barracuda was powered by a 340 V8, sending around 275 gross horsepower to a 4-speed manual transmission. However, the Stump Barracuda was powered by its 318 V8 engine, outputting approximately 230 gross horsepower to a 3-speed automatic transmission. So, although these cars borrowed some styling cues from a super stock Barracuda, they certainly weren't laying down the same kind of power. Then again, they were still plenty powerful enough to fulfill the muscle car role in the film, that's for sure. Fact number three. A real 68 Plymouth Barracuda Superstock is an exceptionally rare car, as there were less than 70 ever produced. Some refer to the Superstock Barracudas and Darts of this era, the last true factory drag race cars made, as these performance beasts were simply savage machines suitable for track use only. When properly tuned, no other production 1960s or 1970s cars could hold a candle to the 426 Hemi-powered Superstock monsters. That's right, we're talking low tens quarter mile times at over 140 miles per hour straight from the showroom floor here, folks. Finding a real 68 Barracuda Superstock today is extremely difficult, as there are very few survivors out there, and if you do happen to find a real one, be prepared to check out six-digit sums for it. In fact, the most recent public auction I could find online where one sold was this example back in 2019 at Meekum Indy that sold for $100,000, and that was five years ago, so they are worth even more than that now. Fact number four. Even wilder than the previous example was the highest value 68 Barracuda Superstock to sell at auction to date. The special car I speak of was one of the very famous cars raced by the Sox and Martin drag racing team back in the 60s and 70s. For those not familiar with that team name, Ronnie Sox and Buddy Martin were a legendary duo in the world of drag racing back then. They formed one of the most successful and iconic racing teams in the history of the sport, running their multiple Plymouth drag race cars. Their 68 Barracuda Superstock was also sold at a Meekum auction in 2019, and set the record for these cars, selling off for a hefty $220,000. Fact number five. Although the Barracuda Superstock was considered a Plymouth production car, mostly because there was just enough of them built to be labeled as such. The real magic that made the Superstock models dominate the racetrack came from the Hearst Performance Company. Plymouth would send the ordered Barracuda cars to Hearst, and from there Hearst overhauled the cars with such upgrades as weight reduction via fiberglass hoods and trunk lid, as well as light gauge steel bumpers and doors. Additional modifications included relocating the battery to the trunk, and installing custom-built racing rear axle assemblies. And of course, the main special ingredient for the Superstock was Hearst's performance overhaul of the engine with race-grade components and a full racing tune. The resulting race-prepped 426 Hemis were highly underrated and actually produced well over 600 gross horsepower. Fact number six. The Stunt Barracuda survived the film and unfortunately went on to be featured in another film the following year, which was a brief but brutal appearance in the god-awful 2005 movie Herbie Fully Loaded. The Stunt Barracuda was used in a really hard to watch demolition derby scene in the film, and yes, they did actually crush it with a monster truck as depicted. As one would expect from such an involvement, the car was damaged beyond repair and was therefore scrapped afterwards. It's pretty sad to see any decent car meet its end, but especially in the name of such a dorky film. Jeez, what a tragedy, huh? Fact number seven. The Hero Barracuda also was featured in other productions after its use in Highwaymen, but fortunately was treated much more kindly than the poor stunt car was. In 2005, it was featured in the Season 6 Episode 9 of the Malcolm in the Middle TV series. The Barracuda was even the primary focal point of this whole episode entitled Malcolm's Car, and it had many great close-up scenes. However, it was depicted as a total clunker of a car, which may sound bad, but it was actually a hilarious episode that I recommend anyone to watch for a good laugh. 
Malcolm's love-hate relationship with the car throughout the episode as it falls apart and even nearly kills him once makes for some great comedy, quite reminiscent to that of Al Bundy's challenges with his old Plymouth Duster. Fact number eight. The Hero Barracuda had one more TV show feature in its stardom, but much more brief than its previous one. In 2007, the Hero car was used in the season two episode 15 of the TV series called Criminal Minds. The episode was entitled Revelations, and it was only on screen as a background car for a short time, but there she is again. Fact number nine. Unlike the unfortunate stump Barracuda, the Hero car did actually survive its Hollywood career. The Hero Barracuda was auctioned off on eBay in late 2007, where it sold for only $5,600. The lone surviving Barracuda was last known to be owned by a private collector residing somewhere in Ohio. And apparently, the Hero car even still retains some of its screen use props, such as the wooden cup holder and some of Cray's communication equipment on the dash. However, that update was from back in 2008, and there seems to be no new information on its whereabouts since then, so it's hard telling where it's gone since. Also, the Hero Barracuda has yet to surface in any car museums either. Fact number 10. Looking into the scale model scene, although there aren't any Highwaymen movie-specific die-cast or plastic model kit releases, fortunately, since Plymouth Superstock models are quite high-profile collector vehicles, there are a few options out there. As for die-cast models, this 118th scale 68 Barracuda Superstock from the brand called Acme Trading Company is the best you'll find out there, and just look at that wild paint job. These are a bit pricey, however, at around the $130 mark, but very excellently detailed. There is also a red and gold version of this model out there too, but it's harder to find for some reason. There are usually some listed on eBay though. Some excellent 164 scale diecast models of the 68 Barracuda Superstock exist as well. One of the better ones would be this example from the brand named M2 Machines. Probably the best route to go if you have the skills to build your own Highwaymen 68 Barracuda Superstock model. This retail market available 125th scale 69 Barracuda kit here from MPC would be a good base kit to do that with, but you would have to source the Hemi engine from another kit though. Although not pictured on the front of the box oddly, it does have the super stock hood that you'd need already too. I will put links to where you can get some of these models in the description below. And for those who haven't seen it yet, I have recently created my own diecast car channel named Show and Tell Diecast that I display and detail my diecast models that I now add videos to weekly also. I will include the link to the new channel in the video description below as well for those interested. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.